What's happening? This your boy Lil Pete, man. DSGB. Shout out to Dumb Eye TV. Y'all know how we rocking. Yeah. What it is and what it ain't. I'm going to let y'all know what I think. But first, you got to hit that post notification bell button. So, y'all's been a loop every time I drop another five video. This time, man, we finna talk about Mr. Magic, man. For some reason, man, you know, people like to kick people when they down. But this story that that boy... Big head, the dome doctor told about Mr. Magic, man. I kind of believe it was true, man. You know what I'm saying? You say that boy was in a cell, man, with his legs crossed, man, up in the parish, man, out there in Baton Rouge, man. And he was in a particular cell where you either had to fuck or fight, man. And none of them cats in there was willing to fight, man. So you know what was going to happen next, man. Niggas was in that cell watching draws, man. And you know what I'm saying? They say that boy was locked up in there, and he had a knife or a tattoo on his arm. You feel what I'm saying? And everybody was plotting on him. And, you know, me personally, I think that Mr. Magic didn't know what cell he was in, but him having his legs crossed and him being in the cell with a whole bunch of sissy-looking motherfuckers, he should have knew that, you know, this cell was full of, Boys, you know what I mean? Unless he was a boy himself. But, you know, the truth always come out. Hit the light, man. You know what I'm saying? But I kind of believe Big Head the Dome Doctor on this one, man. You know what I'm saying? Because there's always some funny shit going on with all these rappers, man. You know what I'm saying? Rappers act a certain way. And then when they go to jail, they act another way. But it's the... uh First time I heard this story, man. You know what I'm saying? But Big Head of Dome Daughter say he was there. He ended up getting him out the cell. His homeboy did. And then, you know, he hung around. Mr. Magic, his whole bed. And Mr. Magic was straight. But I seen in the comments somebody else was from New Orleans say, man, them niggas weren't rocking like that, man. Them niggas weren't going to touch Mr. Magic. They had shit shook, you know what I'm saying? Just niggas running their mouth, plotting and shit. But they ain't do nothing, you know what I'm saying? All that plotting don't mean nothing if you ain't act on it, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know, man. Mr. Magic could have got assaulted in jail, or he could have just walked the line, man. But, you know, I guess his celebrity didn't mean nothing, you know what I'm saying? If them niggas was able to get him out the cell with the boys and, you know, put them on the rack yard with some real ones from Baton Rouge, man. But y'all get in the comments and let me know, man, because everybody know Mr. Magic can't speak up for himself. You know, he dead. He died in the car accident. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? R.I.P. Mr. Magic. Tell me, do y'all believe this story, man? Because if you listen to Mr. Magic music, you know, he was talking that shit, man. I always thought he was one of the realest because, you know, C.I. had done signed him and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? He was with that T.R.U. shit. Roy Jones had done stamped him. You know what I'm saying? He was running around with Scott Douglas, David Banner. You know what I'm saying? He had close ties to Boosie and everybody else, man. Peace, I'm out.